How do? This is Toya from Black Spaces, your home for the unique critique of science fiction from the Black LGBTQ plus perspective. It is rare for women of a darker hue to have a chance to shine when it comes to science fiction. Face it, one of the world's most beautiful people and owner of the Academy Award, Lupita Nyong'o, was buried under mounds of makeup in Star Wars Episode 7 and 8. But this year, we were treated to the opportunity to travel on journeys with two women in the Star Trek and Star Wars universe as they struggle to find their place in space, the final frontier, and on, on planets and galaxies far, far away. Moses Ingram gave a full body portrayal of Inspector Reba, her third sister on Obi-Wan Kenobi that sparked such hateration in the Star Wars dancery. How dare the Force be wielded by a fishtail braid wearing sister who strolled through desert marketplaces wearing leather but still looking so cool. She knew her way around a lightsaber, knew how to use the Force to get answers, had no problems going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Obi-Wan, and even held her own against Lord Vader. Folks were just sick. Now, there are some puzzles when it comes to Reva's journey. How did she go from the Jedi school slaughter to rise to such a high rank? How did she know about the Anakin, Obi-Wan, and Luke connection? I choose instead to focus on her evolution and what it added to the Star Wars experience. Reva's story was powerful and needed. In six episodes, her character felt all the emotions and gave fans a chance to identify with the character never seen before in the Star Wars universe. Consider, the first time a black woman spoke in a Star Wars movie was in 2015. We have indeed come a long way. Now, while Ingram had a chance to plant her flag with a brand new character, Celia Rose Gooden had to step in the iconic black boots worn by Michelle Nichols and Zoe Saldana as Lieutenant Uhura in Star Trek Strange New World. Her portrayal of Cadet Nyota Uhura as a young woman trying to find her place after the loss of both parents is impressive. During her interaction with Starfleet, she grew into her power and maximized her potential. Is there any reason why she would not have been the queen in Dr. Amenge's fairy tale experience in episode 8? Her journey added depth to a character that had been part of the Star Trek universe for five decades. Gooden's Ahura is capable not only in the field of communication, which she's known for, for being an all around asset to the crew. While Ahura was still a cadet, at the end of season one, her role in Impact was assured and essential. Reva and Ahura's role added a necessary expansion of black women's portrayal in science fiction, and I am excited to explore other representation of what is to come. Don't forget to hit the notification button and like and subscribe to keep Black Spaces alive. Until next time.